Hey, this is your favorite tech with another tutorial. Be sure to check us out on our website or text us if you need tech support. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to reset your administrative password on your Windows 10 device. Now, keep in mind, if you're gonna get to this screen, which is the boot menu, you're gonna need a removable disk or a CD-ROM or a DVD with Windows on it in order to get back into the boot section of your Windows if you can have a USB or you can have a physical CD. Most people are gonna have a local account and not an online Microsoft account. So this is how to fix your administrative password if you have a local account. That means you created the password on your physical computer. Now in order to do this, you can go online and download the Windows 10 media creation media and you need either a cd drive or a flash drive you're going to load that up and you're going to use that media creation utility to basically put it in your computer and get to this screen the links will be in the description also another way to get there is if you know how to get to your boot menu options then you can get to the screen as well normally when the computer is loading up you can keep pressing delete or you can keep pick click clicking escape but it really depends on which type of computer you have and you can look up that information online. But the overall goal is you need to get to your boot menu. Okay, so in this example, we're gonna boot off the CD-ROM drive. Then we're gonna click enter to enter the setup. And then you just click any key, it's booting off the DVD. All right, once it load up, we're gonna to get to your Windows boot or Windows setup. You can press shift plus F10, hold down shift and F10 and it's gonna open up the elevated command line window. You do need to get here. So you're gonna type in this part. So if you did it correctly, it should show what you see on the screen. Now you wanna type in list space volume. And it's gonna list all the different volumes of disks you have on your computer. Press enter. So basically you're looking to select your main partition on your hard drive. That means what the hard drive that has your operating system where all of your data is at. So in this example, you see one that's 224 gigabytes. Most of the time it's your largest drive, but if you're somewhat computer savvy, you should know what your main C drive or your main hard drive is. We need to select this drive. So you need to look at the different volumes, volume zero, one, and two, and select the one that's your main drive. Normally your main disk does not have any label in the labeling section, it's blank. So type in CD, space. So we're gonna select D which corresponds with our main drive which is volume two, two colons, and hit enter. Now you wanna type exit. Now type in CLS, CL as in Larry, S, hit enter. Our previous drive was D so we're gonna select that again with the colon, then you hit enter. Now you're gonna type in CD space windows. Then you hit enter. Now type in CD space system 32. Hit enter, type in copy, C-O-P-Y space, U-T-I-L, M-A-N dot E-X-E space, U-T-I-L, M-A-N, the number one, dot exe you want to make sure it's spelled exactly like what's on the screen so look very closely and add all the spaces as seen on this tutorial hit enter should say it should say one file copied if it was done correct as you can see on the screen it says one file copy so if you don't you need to type it in again now type in copy space cmd dot exe space cm d one dot exe it needs to be exactly how it appears on the screen including the spaces press enter and again it should say one file copied again that lets you know you did it right otherwise you need to do it over now type in dl del space u t i l m a n dot exe another space Hit enter again. Basically, this is gonna delete the old utilman.exe. Now type in rename space cmd.exe space utilman.exe. 
make sure it's typed exactly how you see on the screen with the spaces hit enter again now you want to close out of any other windows you have on your screen so that with the command prompt and this you want to cancel this installation your system is going to start to restart all right your system's loaded back up now if you have a lock screen you want to scroll up the screen it's going to ask you to sign in you're going to go to the ease of access icon right here it's like a clock or a middle icon you left click on it type in control space user password space i mean no space two hit enter just like you see it on the screen user password two hit enter and then it's going to open up a user account window while you're not signed in you're going to select your you want to reset your password now you're there you can create your own new password set it up and you should be able to log in i know it's a long process but it does solve your problem have a good day hey if you found this video valuable go ahead and return the favor by liking and subscribing to this channel if you subscribe type the phrase i subscribed in the comment section below keep in mind when you subscribe it motivates us to continue to make these free videos Lastly, if you enjoy learning about technology, entrepreneurship, or making money online, go ahead and check out my other videos on my other channel. Thanks for your support.